This guy spent $150,000 on surgery to increase his height from 5 feet 6. After the procedure, he can no longer walk and has to turn a screw every day, slowly stretching out his legs. It can take over a year to fully recover back to normal, potentially causing other problems such as infections or pain. This is what he looked like before the surgery, next to his doctor. And this is how he looks now, standing at six feet tall. Do you think it's worth it? I was 5'5", five five, so I gained about three inches in 2016. And right now, I'm at 5'8", and I decided that I was ready for the second time. So that's why we're doing the fibula. One week out from surgery, feels pretty good. I can do some walk with the, with the walker, and then I'm doing some PTs. And I'm going to start lengthening today when I get the device and I'm looking forward to that. Back to M is, is really nice. He does take care of you. He's, he's available all the time to speak with you if you have concerns. So that's the, the main reason why I came back to him for the second time. My starting height was five foot seven. Alex is now 5'10". Part of my subspecialty is making people taller. Dr. Shahab Mabubian is an orthopedic surgeon in Los Angeles. He performed leg lengthening surgery on Alex last year. You can see this is like usually what the new bone looks like. It's actually thicker and stronger than your natural bone. I make a small incision where I cut the bone. Then I put a rod from the hip down inside the bone. Then I secure the bone and the nail on the top and the bottom. The nail slowly lengthens over time using an external device called the ERC. It lengthens the nail about one millimeter a day and new bone forms. Essentially your lengthening period is about three months if you're doing the full length of slightly over 3.1 inches. The pursuit of height through lengthening procedures raises ethical and spiritual considerations echoing the biblical admonition to value oneself as fearfully and wonderfully made Psalm chapter 139 verse 14. While the desire for self-improvement is understandable, risking one's health and well-being for physical stature may reflect a misplaced priority. Proverbs 16:18 warns, Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. Investing significant sums and undergoing risky procedures to alter one's appearance may indicate a heart inclined towards pride rather than contentment with how one is created. Moreover, the potential dangers and complications associated with such procedures underscore the importance of cherishing the body, a temple of the Holy Spirit 1 Corinthians 6.19. Therefore, while personal enhancement is not inherently condemned, it should be approached with caution humility, and reverence for the divine design. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share, and comment. God bless you.